Just a brief story to share with you tonight on our Time and Talent Sunday. A story told by a Jewish rabbi, Rabbi Penzia, about his great aunt Susie living in Munich, Germany during World War II. One snowy evening, she was riding the bus home, and suddenly SS officers stopped the coach, began examining the identification papers of all the passengers. Jews without the required papers were taken off the bus and herded into a truck around the corner. Susie watched from her seat in the rear as the soldiers systematically worked their way down the aisle. She began to tremble, tears streaming down her face. The man sitting next to her noticed her distress and asked her what the matter was. I don't have the papers you have. I'm a Jew. They're going to take me, she said. Suddenly, the man exploded with disgust. He began to curse and scream at her. You stupid woman, he roared. I can't stand being near you. The SS asked, asked what he was yelling about. It's her, the man shouted angrily. My wife has forgotten her papers again. I am so fed up. She always does this. The soldiers laughed and moved on. Susie never saw that man again. She never even knew his name. Jesus says in our gospel today, you must take up your cross and follow me. Probably most of our crosses won't be that dramatic, won't be that life and death, but they're no less important for being subtle. Maybe the only one that knows they took up of this cross or that cross is our Lord up in heaven. It's a daily thing. Every day we live, there'll be ways we're called to deny ourselves to take up our cross in order to follow Jesus. We follow a crucified Lord, glorified, granted, at the end, but first crucified. And that's meant to be the pattern of our life as well, that we embrace the crosses that are part of our life because that's the way to follow Jesus. That's the way to glory. Now, about Time and Talent Sunday, as you know, this is what we do um, every year, and it's very, very important for our parish. I'm gonna ask the ushers if they would come forward now and pass out the sign-up sheets. Um, growing up in a family of nine boys on a farm, um, there was really no such thing as optional work, right? Everybody helped out. Dad said, would you like eating? Would you like a bed? And you please help out, you know? Uh, a parish is a little different, but there are some of the things that are the same. Much like our big farm family, a big parish, cannot make it. We can't do it without the help of all of our people, without your time and your talents contributed to the parish life. We can't do it without you. Um, we need all of you to share something uh, if our parish family is going to flourish, just like no nu nuclear family can flourish if the family members aren't chipping in as well. Uh, as you know, we do this once a year because our lives change. Maybe um, your health is better this year. Last year it wasn't so good. Maybe the last child went off to college. You have an empty nest, a little more time. Maybe the kids are in school now. Um, things change in our life. So um, we like to give everybody a chance every year to, uh, to get involved in those areas that they know they can. Um, if you're in the end, would you share a pencil with those in the middle? so everybody has something they can sign up with. And everybody from fifth grade on up is welcome to take part in this, and hopefully you will. So for starters, in, uh, husband and wife, well, each fill in one. Don't fill in a double, each fill in one. If you put your last name and your first name and your address, home phone and cell phone, and your email is really helpful to get a hold of you. It seems like we don't have such luck with phones anymore. So if we could have your email, that'd be very, very helpful. And then just check if you're an adult or a youth, that would be junior or senior high or a child. Please try to write legibly so we can read this clearly after 
when we go to sort through these. We've, we've shortened the list this year, if you've noticed. Hopefully it's going to be a little more user-friendly that way. Um, so just looking at the list, that first one, evangelization, spiritual direct, uh, enrichment. Just check any you're interested in. We had our first That Man Is You this morning. Wonderful group. 30 new men joined us. It was incredible. Uh, under liturgy, we always need help with adorers. If you are not yet adoring and you could help, please check that. We'd really appreciate that. Under 202 Extraordinary Ministers, especially A at Mass. We need more ministers at Mass, if you could help with that. I have five excellent altar servers in front of you right now, but they need help. We need more altar servers, fifth grade on up. We really appreciate that. Grade school, junior high or high school. Ushers, we are very much in need of ushers. Again, we have wonderful ones, but we need to increase their number. service groups. Under outreach, um, the ride for uh, the ride ministry, number 428. We have quite a few people who are elderly and they want to come to Mass, but they no longer have a license or they can no longer drive. But other than that, they're perfectly capable of coming to Mass. It's a huge blessing uh, if people can pick them up. It means so much to them. It's wonderful. Uh, under religious education there, number 600 catechists, we need them. We need eight more catechists right now, especially for third grade, uh, both on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. 613, those are adults helping the Wednesday evening sacramental prep. It's, it's a wonderful thing. It's um, children who, uh, they're a little older, maybe mom and dad were away, and now they're coming back to church. So their children haven't gotten their sacraments and we're catching them up. It's a wonderful ministry. It's great to work with people who are really motivated and want to be here. Under school, the very back panel there, uh, number 806, we need a substitute teachers. Anybody have any questions about any of the categories, any of the areas? You guys in the front done yet, or not? Are you done? Okay, ushers, you can come forward and collect them now, starting with the front. Again, it goes without saying, but thank you so, so much. We, I know it's a cliche, but it's true. We literally could not do it without you. Your help, the hours that you give, all the ways you help us in the parish, it, it means everything. Um, I think it's the way we really return back to God. After all, our Lord gave us all those gifts in the first, first place. The time, our talents, our gifts. And it's a way of giving those back to God. It's a wonderful way. So thank you so very much for that. God bless you.